Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Here we share beginner friendly coding tutorials on Scratch, Roblox, Minecraft, web programming, and many more. So today we are going to create a card matching game with jQuery. So for this project, we're just going to match the cards to the same animals inside. If not, it would just become incorrect. So before I start, just to let you know that jQuery is a library that is part of the JavaScript so thus, everything is working in short form. To follow along, there is a starter code available for this project, in which you can find in the description box below. So let's get started. Okay, so moving on to our coding part, we can see that inside HTML, CSS, and JS, there is already some built-in functions and there's a, like um, some of them already planned out. All we have to do is actually fill in the blanks and inside CSS, uh, we're just going to create two new classes. So moving on to our HTML first, uh, there are three classes. Um, three of the classes uh, actually represent the right result, the wrong result, and after we won the game. So let's get started. Right result, wrong result for the class, and won result for the class. Yeah. So, all right, next thing we're going to do is actually put the headings inside. So what's the word inside? So correct represents the right result. Incorrect represents the wrong result. Okay, you won. Okay, we finished our HTML class. Uh, we can move on to our CSS. So inside CSS, we'll start with the card first. Uh, we set our position to relative. Border is just going to be 10 pixels. Sorry, double black. Width and height is going to be 300 by 200. And background color is just going to be gray, so BB color is just going to be white, so FFF. Does play, which is going to be flex. Justify content center, as well as the align items, so center. All right, so for the font size, which is going to be 100 pixels for Havtica. And margin is going to be five pixels, float, left, cursor, pointer. Okay, we finished our card class. Now we're going back, we're going to our result able class. Our pointer events is just going to be none, and then cursor is just going to be um, this, we're going to this allow or not allowed. So not allow. For a cursor. Okay, when our when we open our card, we want to set our background color to white. Uh, and our color just going to be red and box shadow which is going to be zero, zero, five pixels with the color gray, like that. And yeah. So inside our result, uh, we want uh, the Z index is just going to be two, and then right color is just going to be green ash color. Um, you're just going to set it to line since it's like correct. So, and then for the wrong, uh, we're just going to be red, and then the one color we're just going to set it to green. Okay, so we finished the build, uh, filling all the blanks. Uh, all we have to do now is actually create two more classes. Um, one class is called cart dot dot cart img which is the image of the car. So we're just going to set the position to relative and with 100% height, 100% and object fit. Oh, contain display block that. All right, so we finished the card IMG. 
the last class we're going to create, which is the headings class, uh, we're just going to set it set something with the, these. So H1. Right, so for our H1, uh, what we want to do is to set up the display to none and margin zero margin okay position position absolute margin top 10% left as 30% font size that's 100 pixels And font family Arial text shadow two pixels and then two pixels and then black like that. So we finished uh, our CSS part. Okay, so after all these. Uh, we can move on to our JavaScript, which is the jQuery part. So inside our JavaScript, um, we have um, some of the functions, generate cards, card controls, like that. We're just going to uh, play with these two functions. So uh, to begin, um, inside our generic cards, um, there's already a condition, which is, um, well, for i equals to zero, i is smaller than life, uh, cards.length, um, our uh, i just going to add by one. So, which is like the cards number. Uh, for the cards number, it's just going to be 12. So, it, as long as it's smaller than 12, and we're just going to add our, our cards. So, we're just going to display the cards inside our game. So, the first line uh, for our new card, um, this one is just going to be div and div. So, Okay, so for the text, since uh, every card is like a mystery for uh, the players, we're just going to set it to question mark before it's flipped over. And then the class is just going to be card. And uh, we're going to add a new class for that. And then the second one, the attributes, the cards, I like that. So. This one is just going to be data animal, so we can actually put our animals inside a card. And then for the next thing, uh, which is like the element to ID of the cards, uh, so we're just going to name it, as, name it as ID. And then for the new card, append to, uh, we're just going to set it as body. All right, so we finished our generate cards already. So moving on, we can actually go to our cards control. So first of all, uh, inside our cards control, uh, we have a variable card one and card two. Um, inside our uh, so which is like card one and card two is actually the cards that we we want to flip over with. So yeah, so card one and card two. So uh, inside this, uh, we have a on click function. So this function is like actually when you click on the card, something will just gonna happen. Uh, well, we have two conditions. Uh, we have to meet these two conditions before we click and then the card flip over. So the first condition is uh, if there's any uh, if there's any class in that inside this class in the, inside the card. So which means uh, if there's like um, well if there's a card already opened with that. So we're just going to get the open class like that if there's an open class. So and then the second one uh, is a link. So if the link, okay, so if there's no class open uh, for the card, uh, we're just going to determine the second thing. If uh, the card length is just like smaller or, equal, smaller or equal to one. So if there's only one card open like that. Uh, uh, if these two condition met, we're just going to add a new class, add a class and then open. And then of course we have to, oh, of course we have to do the this 
okay, this a class open like that. So, and then the second thing uh, we're going to do is actually, uh, we're going to push uh, our uh, part to be like open and ring like that. So that's why we can do this again, and then attribute, oh. And then we can get the data animal. Okay, so for our card image, we're going to create a new variable for saving the data. So we're just going to get the animals. Uh, and then this attribute data animal like that. So there's the car RNG. So the next thing we're going to do is to, if there's like two cards open, we're just going to check if they are having the same value. So this is for checking if that's the same value. So which is checking to image. So which is this by image SRC. Oh, no, not yet. Equals and then So card mg. So which is the variable we created earlier. So and then oh and then and then we're just going to get the closing bracket and that's it. All right, so that's it. I have to double check for the brackets. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, moving on to the um, next condition. If the open length is equal to two, uh, which is when there are two cards is open, we have to check if they have the same card or they're not having the same card. So now um, we're just going to um, make the open, well, get two variable. The card range is going to get the uh, array of opened, uh, which is going to get a zero index. And uh, the second one is going to defer, going to be the first index. So like that. So if card one equals to card two, which is right. So we're just going to get the right um, class from CSS. And then we're just, just going to show something. And then theta, which is going to be slow. So instead of popping up, out of nowhere. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, uh, we're just going to, after, since like it's correct, we wanted to remove uh, the cards uh, inside our array list and move on to our next step. So card, so card again, class again, we're going to move, remove the class, disable that. Like that. Okay, so, well, uh, the next thing we're going to check is to uh, check if the length is equal to 12, which is actually um, the, the like one one function. So if actually uh, 12 of the cards is already opened. Um, so cart dot open like that. So if car dot open, oh. So car dot open length is equal to 12. Uh, we're just going to get the one class from CSS and we're just going to make it into slow for fade out again. Else, so if that's the wrong thing, so which uh, which is like either of these um, condition is wrong, is false. We're just going to set it to wrong. And fade out is also slow. Oh. Using the full stop. Slow. Like that. Okay, so uh okay, so inside the set timeout function, uh, we're just going to set our timeout to after one second. Uh we're just going to flip our wrong parts and we're just going to remove our open 
and we're just going to set back our part to question mark if uh, we flip the wrong uh, part. So remove our class and set back to question mark. Same for the second card and that. All right, so uh, we, of course, we have to remove our class too. So card, remove class, disable. So yeah, that's it. So for our shuffle, uh, actually we finished everything for our shuffle uh, function. And yeah, that's it. Uh, we can now try it out for our game. Let's drag this out. Okay, we can see all the cards here showing up, everything. All right, there's some buggy things happening. So it's great. Now I can see that, see what happens inside my JS. So, well, inside my JS, uh, definitely something's wrong. So let's check. Open push this edge. Oh, yeah. Spell a mistake. That's always the bug that I come through. Okay, so now we can try. Okay, that works right now. Okay, so yeah, that's correct. And then now I can move on to next step. Okay, that's incorrect. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Okay, all right. So probably this one, oh no. So prop and then lastly mouse. So that's it, that's actually the game. Uh, we finished our game and this is the result. So that's it for today. In this tutorial, we created a card matching game with the use of jQuery. jQuery is a mini library of JavaScript which allows you to write code, but in a more quicker and simplified way. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. Also check out the, uh, these other two videos while you're waiting for the next video. So thank you, bye.